All right, guys, thank you very much for choosing our Ambernig RG405M. And this video is going to teach you how to do the basic operation of the RG405M, okay? First of all, and uh, just make sure that your TF card, game card, is already inside of the slot. This one is 256 gigabyte, which is contained over 22,000 game pre-installed. Okay, covers many different type of emulator. And guys, if you ever uh, take this card out, when you just, uh, you know, and just uh, reinsert into this game card, and there will be something like over here, my friend. Here from the top, you just uh, slide, slide, down and you'll find out there's a setup for the SD card okay first off you have to let me just clarify something just tap it and please do not choose the phone storage because if you choose the phone storage check over here phone storage it will gonna be format all the all the uh, I mean format the game card all the data all the game data inside of the TF card pre-installed is already gonna be erased so it's gonna be zero so remember guys if you want have this set up how will you use this SD card please choose this portable storage okay portable storage all right done all right so this is actually for you know something warning stuff just clear you can clear this one okay for some of the people they don't know how to initiate of the retro arc which is the game can stay game uh station because you know in our rg505 there will be a button over there just to simply press the button and you will call out the the you know the game station but here my friend very very simple guys first of all let me just uh, shows you how to call out that game station okay from the top and slightly slide down and slide down again you see there is a um, a uh you know a logo looks like an ambernic okay this one is normal you, you see now this is off uh, status just to press it and it's on model then press the b button again then you will call out of the game station out okay viewing this actually is the initialized configuration you just got it okay for now this process is for the device for scanning all the games within the tf car but if it is going to be the second time you don't have to go through this one because one time for the initial installation of all the games you will have all the games already pre-installed you don't have to repeat this process again so guys just wait for a second and it's gonna be takes like one minute Okay, guys, you can see after one minute, so we are, uh, our device is already scanning all the games from the game card. And now this one, you can see this just have to type to confirm. Confirm it and OK and allow. And this retro R is going to be initiated for the, you know, uh, initial installation and just to type the quick red arc and you're coming back to our game station. You can just play, enjoy all, all the games. Okay. Okay. Let me just repeat that again. And uh, if you wanted to do this one, there is very simple guys. After you turn on the devices and um, slide, slide down again. And there is a normal and off here, my friend. Let's check this Ambernic logo. Just tap it, tap it. You can just press B button over here. You can just go like this one and you will call out our game station over here including over 26 emulators and over 22,000 game pre-installed covers ps2 fbn game boy nds wii game 3ds game all right guys if you wanted to change the game seems very very simple here we have a special button for that one press the se button you see you call out the same system system uh setting you can choose the scene to confirm and you are going to enjoy different type of them all right so this is the game can uh, game station, which is we call the retro arc. And but if you wanted to do now, if you wanted to quit, okay, if you wanted to quit this uh, uh, retro arc, and the same procedure, guys, slide slide down from the top again, and type this one off. Then you go back to the desktop. All right. So we also have initially installed many different type of emulator. For example, this Arsena SX2. This one is special. This is an official um, PS2 game emulation for the PS2, okay? Now, let me just teach you how to do the installation if that's gonna be also the first time when you just put into your TF card, especially if you have your own rooms, your own, you know, TF game cards, and you have to do like this one, Arsena, tap it, okay? Then here, my friend, add the game directory, 
Over here, you have to set the game pass from the SD card. Tap the SD card. Okay, sorry. Over here, go check a file's name is called a PS2. Tap it. Then use this folder. Allow. Then uh, the scanning process is gonna be started. After the scanning uh, process finished, you're gonna have all the games back. All right, it's for the PS2 and the same procedure for this one. This one is for Wii and GameCube, okay? And find this one, find this plus button and same procedure. And just you open from SD card, find a game file called a Wii and NGC. Check over here. All right. Then use this folder, allow. Okay, the scanning process is started again. All right, after scanning process is finished, you're gonna have all this game come back. Okay, somebody would say, oh, where, oh, where, oh, where, why I don't have this uh, front cover? The reason why, my friend, is you didn't connect with your Wi-Fi. As long as you connect with your Wi-Fi, and which means you get your devices connected to the internet, you're gonna have this front covers back, my friend. If you don't believe me, let's just go check it. Okay, I'm supposed to cancel this part, but let me just connect with the Wi-Fi. Okay, and enable it. And All right, guys, I have already connected with my internet. Let's just check it. You can see we have this front covers. You will see it. Okay, you have your front covers back. Right. So we have pre-installed many of the GameCube and Wii games and etc. You know, many of them over 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 hundred. Okay, you can just totally enjoy with these Wii games and GameCube. Okay, check this all this different type of game. All right, so this is the basic of the installation of the Wii and GameCube, my friend. All right, guys, this is basically an Android system. You can just check inside of this one. For example, if people believe that, you know, that like, like, like display, it will be, you know, screen time out. You can just check this one. Normally, you know, default setting is 30 seconds. You can go just like 30 minutes. All right, so there's a lot of, uh, you know, things and you can just go through just the Android system, okay? So for the, you know, the Google and uh, you have, you can just, uh, you know, log in with your Google account. You can just download the Play Store, you know, the games from the Google, Google Play Store. And basically there's a, there's a, there's the thing stuff. You see, this is Bluetooth. When you just want to connect with your controller, well, it's they use the BT Bluetooth. You can just tap this one and you can just find your Bluetooth devices. And Auto Raid and Air Comfort and in this model, my friend, this one, this one is a very, very, how to say, very, very special design. We just use, you know, we can just use, can improve our CPU's performance by tapping this one. High mode, you can see the CPU. And you can just go off and high. You know, when you're just trying to play some PS2 game or Wii game, and you can just tap on these auto models and go to the high models. And then the, your CPU is gonna be, you know, will be bringing much more better performance. The key mapping, you can just go tap yourself. And also there's many of the functions you can just go, you know, explore by yourself. All right. So guys, if you have any question, just leave a question down below side and, uh, you know, and thank you for watching.